he has what it takes to get into an Ivy League summer school program. There is just one thing holding him back, though. A few thousand dollars for tuition. Tonight, the inspiring story of a very driven Valley student from Metro Tech High School and how he is fighting all alone to turn this dream into a reality. Smaller? Yeah. It was at 10,000? Yep. Saul Felix already mastered basic math, so today's lesson will be different. It's a real world crash course in complex numbers. It's $12,500 that I don't have. He's learning big opportunities can come with big price tags. There's no way I'm going to get accepted. I mean, it's Harvard. But it happened. It says, imagine studying at Harvard for seven weeks, fully immersed in the college experience. Imagining, that's the easy part, but turning it into reality. If I really wanted it, I would have to fight for it. He's the oldest child of a single mom and would be a first-generation college student. And your family can't help? No. And he won't let that hold him back. This is just the $5,700 scholarship that they gave me. It's only a little less than half of what I need. He's short, about $7,000. I applied two different Walgreens, um, a JCPenney, a Target. But he wasn't hired. I tried to find other scholarships, but there's not that many for um, some of the programs. Still, he refused to give up. I reached out to Boeing, Intel, Barrow Neurological Center. But it was a dead end. I set up a GoFundMe. But in 23 days, he's only raised about $800. Then finally, he caught a break, a job at Denny's. I'll be seating the door, um, cleaning tables. The paychecks will only cover his flights, not the tuition that's due in full on May 21st. It just hit me, like I should get this out to the press, maybe share my story, maybe um, ABC 15, which is one that I watched. What do you hope to learn when you're there? A lot of the nervous system, uh, the anatomy of the brain, how um, brain cells function and work. And right there, you see it. As he smiles, you can feel his passion for learning and the hope for a promising future. Have you cried? <laughs> Quite a few, yeah. Quite a few nights. But it's not just the pressure of hitting the number 7,100 in order to go to the number one school. Saul is motivated by something much simpler, his siblings, who rely on him as their role model. I put it on myself to get out of the projects. I would like to see them do better as I did. I have never met anyone more deserving of some help in my life. And by the way, this course that he wants to get in, in the summer school program, it has a 125 student limit. And right now there are 107 students that are currently enrolled. Yeah. So he can't enroll until he has the final amount and he can't do any of that until he has a little bit of help. So we thought we'd tell a story and, and, and ask our viewers to, to help out if he can. I, I corresponded him with him as well uh, earlier right. yep. this week and we were able to point to some resources that we hope will give him some additional scholarships and things like that. But he does have that GoFundMe page up there and I think a lot of people will be inspired by his story. I hope so. We wish him the best. All